Welcome everyone, Joseph's Random Vlogs. As a recording of today, it is November 21st, 2024. This is not a skin cap, this is a, it's a hat. I'm not bald. Today we are preparing, yes we are, supposedly, as the weatherman says, we are going to get anywhere between 5 to 8 or more inches of snow starting this evening all night and through the next day and i think all day friday as well i do not know for sure right now the time is 1208 in the afternoon we are going to go run down street we're going to go get some milk you know the usual things you get before snowstorms to be prepared right now it's been raining all morning actually let's go get cassie she's out she went out to do her her business and we're gonna go out i already got the uh you ready cass i already got the snow blower out right there come on cass so in case we do get that amount of snow i am prepared Not to say, not to say I really am ready for this because actually I am not ready for this. But you can't stop it, so embrace it. So come along. It's going to be mostly a housebound kind of day, staying in the homestead. But we have to go out and get a few groceries right now. So come along. on our way back uh, from getting the groceries and there's a Christmas tree in the trunk uh, and the person that put that tree in the box uh, it was the Christmas vacation or natural lampoons Christmas vacation Clark Griswold Christmas train now when I take it out and set it all up uh, and see if it works uh, if it works really good I might switch it out from the one in my room that I decorate put that one in and take that one out but I don't know because I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it out in the house it's somewhat wet from being in this nice weather we're at so I might have to put it in the shed but we're on our way back did a few errands did not record the errands because we had we picked up a friend that needed it to go to the store actually she was going to walk in this weather about two blocks worth and a hill. So we was like, heck that, get in the car, we'll just take you there and back. Since we're going there anyway. As of right now, if you can't see or notice it, it's just raining. That's because we're about 37, 38 degrees above freezing. Soon this the temperature drops later on around four or five, you're gonna see this change dramatically from rain to just straight up snow. The wonderful white gold that people might love. Uh, and, and I do love. I love it before Christmas. After Christmas, uh, it needs to go. Okay, it's been a few hours now. We're uh, at the end of the day, and the Weather Channel now says it's uh, 8 to 12 inches of snow. And the weather right now, no, we don't want the ad. The weather right now is 32 degrees. It feels like 28. And as you can see, it says snow for the next several hours. So now let's go and see what it looks like right now as of what? 11.50. Yep, it's 11.50 at night right now. And we're about to see how the snow is doing. And that is what it looks like so far. I kind of use the railing right there as a measuring stick. <laughs> but, yep, that's what it's doing right now. So what we're going to do is we're not going to end the vlog. We're going to just end today. We'll continue this tomorrow. I also use the ground as a measuring stick too. 
to see the difference. But yeah, let's see how much we're gonna get. So, all right, I'm gonna get ready to hit the hay, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, for you, it'll be in a quick second, but for me, it'll be a seven to eight hours. See you then. No, this ain't the next day. I just figured I'll show you what the front of the house looks like. That was always, that, I always show you what the back looks like. Well, this is what the front looks like right now while it's snowing, which it looks like the front has gotten more than the back by going and looking at the uh, the rail, it's like there's a lot more higher snow accumulation on the railing than in the back. So now I'm gonna go to bed. The coat is looking like, what the heck is going on? Are we going out? No, we're not. We're going to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. And this is the next morning. Uh, it is right now 7.30. In the morning, I've just gotten up, literally. There's Dakota. And I literally had to shovel the steps, because in the middle of the night, he wanted out. Dakota, oh, you like the snow? Now let's look at what the front look like. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do the front door right this moment because I need to get some coffee. So we'll check that out when I'm ready to suit up and go out there. So from the front room window, this is what it looks like out of there. First snowstorm, and the uh, neighbor across the street who did the landlady's driveway did uh, do a little bit near the end of the driveway. He broke through the hardest stuff. That's always the hardest stuff where the snow plow builds up. I mean, look at the look at the mountain there in front of the garbage can. So. And that's what the cars look like. So we got uh, we got a substantial amount of snow, I would say. I would say just by looking at it, we got about about ten inches of snow. So later on, I'll uh, check the front door after I consume some coffee, which I. Desperately need. And I'll use my cup that I got from the dogs a while back. It says, Dear Dad, thanks for all the belly rubs and picking up my poop. Huh? Dakota and Cassidy. That's what I'm going to use. And Pam's cup, she's going to use when she gets up. I saved my best friend. My best friend saved me. Doggy cops. And this is the way I start off my morning. I think a lot of us start off our mornings with a good cup of joe. Uh, I gotta go get the creamer. Sorry. And the creamer I'm having with today is French vanilla. Alrighty. And this is what the front looks like. Eight o'clock in the morning. It's pretty deep. And it's heavy too. But I'm gonna break out the snow blower in the back. I just wanna get this off.
got the snow blower to make the path, huh? Because I gotta make a path around the cars, a path down here, and a path to the garbage can. And I am suited up. <clears throat> I gotta get my uh, gloves on and uncover the snow blower. Let's go and cover the snowblower. Alright, we got the snowblower on. Let's see if we get this in one shot turning it on. Let's prime it. Two, three. Let's do six. This is what I did. The path to the garbage can. Did a little path here, and then made a path around both cars. Make sure the back of the trunk was clean too, just in case. Just in case. I to get in the trunk. Made a path to the shed. In case you gotta get the generator, the power goes out. Made a path for the dogs. So they could go out and do their little business. Clean up the back steps. And then I made a little path to turn around right here to put the uh, snow blower away. I haven't covered it yet because it's really hot. So that took about an hour. I look like I look like a rack. Huh? Uh, it's supposed to be in the high 30s, like 36 or 37. 
So I made the path now before I got any damp or damper. I'm only worried about the roof because this is really heavy snow. And I'm going to go in, warm up a little bit, and uh, probably hop in a hot, warm shower. Oh, I don't think I've ever vlogged these yet, but maybe when they melt, we have a pilgrim and an Indian, and that's supposed to be a turkey. Right now it doesn't resemble one, and a pumpkin that's right there. And then it's a light up turkey in the window that lights up at night as well. But you want to see it right now because of the snow. I wanted to show you guys something. Hey, Carter, you gotta go this way. You gotta go this way, Carter. This, this lilac tree would be standing up it would be up and it is completely down i mean let me get some closer to this i mean these let me get some of the plant that is a full branch right there that usually would be up it is down i mean look at that this plant would, I'm just gonna go in the back of the trail and walk around back and get a different view of this from afar. Look at that. That would be standing way up. And it's not, so I don't know what's gonna happen in the summer with this. We might have to trim it. But this lilac bush hopefully can come back. Uh, that's how heavy the snow is. That's another thing. That I worry about with the roof. Just thought I'd show you that because out of all the snowstorms we have here, 13 years, not 13, I think like 10, never seen uh, the snow take down the lilac tree. Nice view though of the mountains and the trees covered in uh, snow. Almost got the uh, Christmas vibe going Not yet though, it's still early. It's only November 22nd So we're just getting ready for gobble gobble And I think I'll say before all the comments come in that I look like an old prospector from Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2. So before the comments came in, I catch a guy got you before you got me. Where's the old gold mine, prospector? I don't know. Look at all those birds. All trying to get food before it gets covered in the snow again. Yeah, it is snowing again. Unbelievable, ain't it? Uh, I'll tell you what. I hope it doesn't stick, huh? Because as you can see, some of the snow did slide off the roof of my car sideways. I have just gotten out of the shower. So I warmed up, relaxed. Now doing a couple of loads of laundry to clean the uh, bed sheets so it's nice and fluffy and warm to climb right back in. Now I'm not climbing back in. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning. So the day just begun. But yeah, it's still snowing. It actually stopped when I was snow blowing and started up again. We might hit the road later, go to the post office. See how our side looks. I know, just looking at the birdies. For lunch, as of one o'clock, it is right now, we're having chip beef on toast. That's uh, lunch right now. We have the heat kicking more than usual because all around us is without power. 
half of this town we're in is out of power. Where my mother is, that whole town is out of power. The whole county of Green County, majority of it in Green County is out of power. So, um, we might, if it gets worse, because it's been out since 4 o'clock in the morning, eh? and it's been over like 8, 9 hours now with no power, we might actually have to bring them here, since we still have power. And even if we lose power, we have a generator that we could hook electric heaters on and keep the house moderately warmer than without no heat. So, no, you're not seeing things. We are on the road eh? at 6:32 in the evening, and you might ask yourself, "Whoa, Joe, what the heck are you doing out on the roads?" Well, my parents still don't have power since 4 a.m. I think I mentioned that before, so. We are picking my brother up and my mother up and we're bringing them over to Pam's where she, we still have power. We don't want them to freeze to death. Yeah, we don't want them to freeze to death, so. And since we haven't eaten anything all day and they haven't eaten anything, we all got stuffed pizzas at our local pizzeria place. So that's gonna be dinner for tonight. We don't honestly know when the power is going to come back on because the power website, the, the website that, you know, the website with the power company is, doesn't say any time. It just says assessing. So, and it's been saying that since 4 a.m. So, yeah. And it's 30 degrees outside. So, if you see the road really shiny there, I got to be extra diligent because it could be the dreaded, the most hated thing of any driver black ice no matter how good tires you have and I could have a, quite a bit of argument by people saying oh I got good tires and yes you can have really good tires but black ice don't care <laughs> just being blunt right there black ice does not care you hit black ice you will slide on any kind of tires maybe if you have studs, studs on them they might crack and break up the, the black ice, but I don't have studs. I've never had studs. So for me, I would slip slide like an ice skating rink. Huh? So if you have studs, you, you, you could possibly not worry as much. But anyway, we are on our way to pick them up. Well, we made it to our mother's. I had to break through some snow, so hopefully when we back up out we will be able to get out now I have to go get her so we loaded my mother up in the car and my brother and as soon as we pulled out of this driveway and you can't make this up the lights went on in the whole park it was like Christmas morning almost we the lights come on so we went around the trailer park and I was gonna unload the car but then we had the three stuffed pizzas in the next town over, and now she wants to go for a late night drive. You can't make this up. Huh? If I tried to, I would not be able to accomplish this. So anyway, we're gonna go get pizza and then come back and then go back home and then finally eat. So we'll be eating probably around 8, 8.30. The longer you sit in the driveway, you're right. Let's go. It's your two, five. So, uh, away we go! Okay, can I talk? Okay, we are back, huh? And uh, this is the stuffed pizza I ordered. Pam got the same thing, but mine is with sausage. Hers is with meatball and black olives. And the one Mark got was with ham. And this is the uh, pasta sauce to dip it in. And uh, that's going to do it for today. We uh, dropped them off. They're having their food. And uh, that's going to do it for today's vlog. As always, like, share, and subscribe. And stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Vlog over. <laughs>